Hello everyone, Neodlin here and welcome back to the Adain mod. We're now playing on Pelagia, a camp start, and I've chosen to play as a random faction against Isengard, Mordor and Gondor, just because open world map, I don't want to have to deal with the uh, goblins. So here we go, we're playing as Angmar. Ooh. Haven't played an Angmar camp start in a while, but I remember enjoying camp start Angmar because you got easy access to your tribute carts without needing to worry about a gate. You just got the uh, opening in the front. Uh, I don't remember. I should have read what layers there were on Pelagia, but I'm fairly certain there's wargs and trolls. So let's get pikes. And let's get those summons in the back. And oh, very zoomed in map. Okay, so quite s smelter, smelter, triple smelter, and hold on a little bit for the Hall of the King's Men, just because I want to get these two settlements settled first. Yeoman Village, and another village. Push a bit west. I'm not too worried about a uh, incursion from the enemy. Let's just place an obelisk here. I'll post there. No layers yet, although I don't think there's many layers actually in the city of Pelagia. I think they're mostly in the outskirts. So Isengard is in the top left. Or oh, they're attacking the top left. Either way. That's good. I've always liked Pelagia. It's always been a very nice map. Even back in DFME 1. So you've got the, uh, the grain fields here. Crop rotations. You've got the whole city just kind of sat here. You've got the river on the side. Just a nice map altogether. Now, I need to try and keep away from trouble, if possible. Uh, get the Dark Iron Forge. City very big. Gotta explore everything. And I've set that obelisk here, just, so, just in case something comes through here. I'll then be able to scry it as it comes through here. So nothing will be unknown to me. Get another village. So there's four outposts, it looks like. One, two, three, four. Yep. So where do we go? I'm still saying go southwest. Get some more frolls on the way and get drowling. Just need to make sure we have plenty of Hillman villagers to supply us with tribute. Otherwise, we'll be stuck at uh, Hillman for the game. We don't want that. So we've got orcs here. I'm, I'm sure there's meant to be like wards and trolls somewhere here. So we looked out by only having to fight orcs. Or maybe we didn't. We'll soon find out. The enemy has not made contact with us. Everyone's still alive. But we're going to take this outpost. Which will give us a enhanced tribute cart. Meaning powerful experience gains early on. Is what I want. Very nice. Always worth getting the loot. Oh, there's the wards. There's the wards. Get that tribute cart moving. The Dark Iron Forge. Make two axe throwers. I'm gonna get me another Thrall Master on the way. Summon some puppies to help. And how expensive are these? 800. Okay. Okay, expensive building. go. Nice and easy. Some extra money while we're at it. Another one. Okay, we got the money. Let's put this up and get another smelter. And let's keep pushing. Got no reason to not keep pushing. We found our enemy. It's Gondor. And we seem to have the extra tower upgrades, so that should be good. Right, 
Two more tribute cards arrive. Throw them also into the Darkheim Forge. Just want to get those tier 3 upgrades. Throw an obelisk down near the outpost. And a saw getting our workers' tools. Yeah, that's now tier 3. So next thing is the Hall of King's Men needs leveling up. And get a pantry so we can keep supplying more forces to the front line. Another unit of trolls. And yeah, Gondor is our enemy this game, it looks like. Well, at least for the early game. Isengard and Mordor is going to be duking it out. Whoever takes that outpost is probably going to be the one who wins. Which is, if it's Isengard, it's going to be very quick. If it's Mordor, it will be very slow. Mordor does not do things very quickly. It's not from my experience. Uh, I should get more axe throw. We've got lots of uh, spears, but no M more axe throwers. Good thing about axe throwers is, unlike other ranged units, their their damage type is slash, so they're really really good early game, and can do massive damage to buildings. Oh, beautiful! Darkness has just been thrown down. So that's a. Uh, Something to think about. Forge workers' tools on the way. Let's get those resources rolling. No point in trying to take that something that is right next to their camp. Let's go. Let's go to the centre and take this settlement. I'm feeling greedy. Let's build a tower to defend. In my absence, and we're going to build a barrow white layer as well. Good building for defence, as well as attack because of the. Oh, there's a the troll. There's the trolls. I knew there was somewhere. Let's get that loot money. It may be dark and I can't see, but I'm still going to get that loot money. Fire white lair. Another good thing about the barrow whites is they're actually decent against most um, enemies. It's just if they're spamming archers, then you're going to have trouble because... Single target entity, just get pew pewed too easily. Oh, I love it. I'm not sitting idle this game. We're pushing out and expanding at an alarming rate. Victory is assured. As long as I don't piss off more enemies. But that's it, that's, that's Gondor. Common village built up as well. Yeah, look at those Ithilian rangers. You may be elites, but that don't mean nothing when you just got squashed like that. Yeah, it looks like Gondor was focusing against uh, Isengard for the majority of the, uh, the uh, first few minutes of the game until I showed up on the doorstep of knocking. Let's get Heligwin. First unit of Tower Guard, and again. You might think, oh, we've got uh, only pikemen. This is going to be a pretty even duel. We've got slash damage in the form of our axe throwers, which is bonus damage against their little tower guard. And there they go. And tower guard being spearmen are weak to slash damage. So you always got to remember that rock, paper, scissors doesn't always um, come in the same form in this game. When you've got axe throwers... They're technically your rock. Throw some ice down here. Seems like a good point to try and contest. Get more spearmen. We are lacking. Into Hall of King's Men. Almost tier 2. So we can start getting our better heroes and units. Oh. Knights, they took an outpost. They, they took that outpost in the west. That's fine because we are Angmar and we have pikes in abundance. Get Holdar. So we can make these frogs even better. I'm not quite ready to be switching to um, anything else yet. Oh no, we've reached the command point cap. Let's circumvent that. I was getting more of them. 
And if we run out of money, make sure those tribute, tribute cards go where they need to go. And yeah, finding the streets like this, like narrow choke points. Oh, that's a frog mass in the front. That should, that guy should go back a bit. So while the whole unit dies, but he's still in the front. What is he doing? The mad lad. There's another frog mass that is standing at the front, about to die. Oh, we've called the ire of Mordor to our northern border. Build some towers in preparation of their ascent against me. And I'm going to shoot that off. Kill the building. Okay, that works too. No, they're not. <laughs> they're really not. We've got the brigand, Waldar. Oh, they're barraging us. There go some units. Let's fall back. We have five power points. Let's spend them. Turncoats of Arnor. Okay, while they're focusing on the building, let's just get my tribute card. Let's actually work something out of the way. A lot of our units are quite wounded, so let's fall back and heal. I've got no actual love of this area. Let's just fall back. And yeah, we lost a lot of our front line. One, two, three, four units of axes. And a few more units of spears. But they are also quite wounded. That's a single archer. I am not summoning the tokens for that. Nor am I, neither am I summoning the tokens for that. Once we get the... Uh, Four settlers tools, the towers can deal with that themselves. Uh, you can become axe throwers. And you can be axes as well. Uh, let's get Gulzar. I always enjoy a good bit of Gulzar action in the house. Okay, that's tier 3. Let's upgrade the Barrow White layer next. And then get the last of our storeroom upgrades. Settlers tools, let us kill them. And I'm actually going to leave that one archer. He could just sit there for the rest of the game. I'm just going to kill his, arc, his, uh, his base. Bulls are ready to be summoned. Yes, just need the money. Oh, woe is me. Okay, that's half the unit of archers dead. This will recharge long before they can get out even to half health. Yeah, let, let's let, leave that as it is. Our hoard is almost fully replenished. And... They do have that outpost. So that takes me too close to another enemy that could then trigger it on me. Who are you? Someone's shooting at that obelisk. That's fine. They cannot do whatever they want. I'm taking my sweet time getting everything ready. Okay, this can go. I'll place it with a smelter. Upgrade the barrel right lair. Only one thing upgrade the wet the wear the lair to level two. Nice. Okay, start getting these upgrades. Obelisk still stands. I want to see what's attacking it. Who is there? <laughs> oh. That felt, that felt good. That felt good unveiling those rangers. Yeah, we should try and take out Gondor before they get these eagles on us. Because in these tight packed streets, an eagle barrage could just kill the entire army right there. An eagle brigade. Okay, let's start making a move on Gondor's base. Summon some friends to tank for me. Uh, which one do I want? Nah. Yeah. Reduce the reduce the damage of those towers. 
to be good. Okay, they've wasted their heal now. Olaf's taking a bunch of damage, so I should probably have him fall back in a second. Just have him. That first, and there's the eagles I was worried about. Yeah, okay. Heroes get out. The trolls can stay. We've got a bunch of money that just rolled in. I start getting men of calm doom, I think. Expensive, yes, but I can pay for it. I can afford it. And yeah, our army of hillmen just got absolutely obliterated by those eagles. But they used it, so now I've got a bit of a timer before they use it again. Now is not the time for cowardice. Now's the time where we fight back. In full. And yeah. Goodbye, Hillman. Uh, you, you were fun while you lasted, but yeah. I was either I try and retreat or... And then wait another five minutes for you to fully recover. Or I just replace you with a better army. <laughs> and I could still make more of them. I've got my men of calm doom. And God, darkness does not make it easy to actually show anything going on. You tier three? Yeah, okay. Let's go in there anyway. Now, all they're doing is attacking attacking an obelisk, and that's not anything to worry about. Keep in line. Dark hand weapons are ready. Get Mornamark in here before we get another up. Anything else? Enemy's been crushed. Which one? Isengard. Oh dear. Mordor's going to be on the way. Actually, no. They'll be coming south. I might be fine. Oh no, they found one. How dare they scour them from this land? And that's the barrage again. Yeah, our brigade of heroes ain't stand a chance. To make sure those knights suffer a painful death. Oh, those are citadel guard. Oh dear. Oh, Sauron has made his presence known. And so has his entire army. Fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back, fall back. We have frozen landing, so they can't chase us. Just fall back. Fall way back. I don't care where to, there's not anywhere that's here. Let, don't want to let this outpost fall. Not until I've got Karsh, at least. Yeah, that Barrow White's doing good. The Barrow Whites even are doing good work. Defending the base. And that's Doggle Door Orcs. That is actually fine. And actually, no, it's not. Doggle Door Orcs are quite useful against factions that can't heal themselves. But we've almost got a tier 4 power. And that tier 4 power will give us the ability to summon cavalry. And that is what we want. Picking a good mix of swords and pikes. Since we are fighting Gondor and Mordor. And both have monstrous units. Get our... No, you don't get to charge me like that. I, d I don't know you like that. Okay, we're, we're, we're splitting up too much. We're splitting up. We need to... Come back into one. Especially with the... 
Mordor right on us. Oh sh shit, that was a Nazgul killing you. My dear. A very powerful Nazgul at that. Robin, you, you matter less if you die, but Halloween's expensive and takes a long time to recover. Hold on, you don't matter too much either, except you do have a summon, so you're kind of useful still. Nazgul are dying. And shrieking. How do we get in that tower so you don't die to anything? Please. Please. Thank you. All our units are still alive. That tower up there and here. Yeah, that poison hurts. It stings. Oh, it's a troll they just led into my base. Oh, but they killed it. Thanks, Citadel Guard. Now I'm going to kill you. Oh, you don't heal now. That's, that's, it's back to the steal ability. The poop ability. Karsh is here. Okay, let's pull, pull back a little bit. And then remember the Castellans are weak to all our range attacks. And melee. Goodbye. We're doing fine. Thankfully. Um, oh, but let's go over here. Distract them. Keep shooting. Get those ice arrows in here. Come on. Money, get in. Thank you. Get that, get that troll out of here. There's a Nazgul. Get it. Now they've got Minas Morgul. Oh god, Mordor is a problem. Um, Stronghold of the Iron Crown, please. I think I'm going to abandon that, uh, something, that outpost now. I'm at the point where I think abandoning it is better than uh, choosing to keep around it. Abandoning it is the right choice. Let's get out of there. It can defend itself against most threats. I should be worrying more about my base now, that they've also got a set. Oh, no. Army of the Dead is protecting the ring. Okay, I think we're fine with that. Sauron's not getting that ring, and if he tries, he's going to get murdered. Not even just killed, just honestly murdered. By the... Uh, I said the Nazgul, not Nazgul. The uh, Army of the Dead. Which is also good to know that it's been used. I could afford to summon some dudes here. Oh no, who took it? Oh no, who took it? <laughs> Well, if Sauron took the ring, we're in trouble. Because I don't have any way of killing a Sauron. Well, at least not one yet. And there goes that tower. There goes my chance of this base holding out. Well, we kept our heroes alive, so that's one good thing to take from this.
Let's say hello to Minas Morgul and burn it. And take it for our own. Yeah, let's just push against Mordor. Okay, we do no damage to him, or we're not even attacking him. I don't know what the what it is, but it's not good. They destroy my outpost. I destroy theirs. Crush every stone. My sword is yours. Oh, come on, Gondor. We have the same enemy. Keep him distracted, my summon. Come on, Gondor. I had that base right in the palm of my hand and you had to let it go away. Couldn't just give me something, could you? I mean, this place is still mine. You haven't taken it yet. And you're not going to. Thank you, Barrow Watts. I also just noticed that no tribute card has been summoning, summoning from here recently, which is a little annoying. And making things a bit difficult without the uh, added, added help. Yeah, that this outpost isn't going to fall without an act of God to help it along its path. Come on, troll! Let's play Ring Around the Roses. Keep pushing. We are going to get rid of this Minas Morgul. I swear we are, I swear I am. Uh, who was that? Oh, shh. Good. Okay, yeah. I, I said an act of God. That is an act of God. Uh, the only way I'm going to kill Mordor is by, um, by destroying all their base. That's the one way they're dying. I don't see any other way they're going to die. Gondor, why are you doing this? We should be working together to kill our common enemy. That enemy is currently knocking down my door. And look, that, there was a Gondor knight there, just standing there while Sam was beating down my buildings. I just need to push down Mordor's base. Bring that down, and then Sauron will just die. That's how we win this. By destroying everything Sauron loves. Because we can't... We, we know we can't kill him. We might as well kill that army he's got over there as well. Oh god, my hands. The hands don't want to move. Come on. Tower of Sorcery. Let's get Zapagor in here as well. Oh, if I only had any Barrow Whites there. Oh no, not Draglin. So sad. How will I live without him? Just throw abilities down. I don't know what else to do. Sauron has been very occupied with this place. I don't know how much longer I have his attention over there for before he comes to my own base. 
my home base even, not my own base. But that was my own base. I'm hoping Gondor will distract Sauron enough that he'll actually just die. And not crash the game. That would be bad. That would be bad when we're this close to the, the actual victory here. As much as I love this map, I don't want to have to play on it again. Uh, I will get Shadow Guard, but I think... Oh no, Shadow Knights first. Did I lose my Shadow Knights already? No, I just put them into Hangar 1 again like a fool. Well, that's, gone, that's Mordor's base destroyed. Now all that's left is Doggle Door. And potentially a Killer Fungal, which I'm assuming is somewhere. Oh, those Plague Bearers standing in front of that Orc Pit. Oh, that was lethal. That was a beautiful lethality to it right there. Okay, where is... Why is Gondor attacking me? There's a big bad bastard everywhere and you can't even focus the right enemy. I'll make my army invulnerable if I must. Not my army, my base invulnerable if I must. Yeah, they're not getting in here. They're realising that and they're stopping the attack on me. Sauron should be the main priority to kill. Is he over here? No, it's just a bunch of their archers. So I'm going to rush down a bunch of. And then lure them towards my army that is moving towards Doggledore. Heroes in here. Here's yeah, my archers. Clever. But foolish. Come on, if we destroy this, this might be the end of Sauron. And even though I don't have my ring hero, at least Mordor will be gone. Actually, no, let's get saved for Avalanche. Till for the Klim to the Klim. Where's the Killer Fungal Barracks? Because I need to destroy every single one of them before Sauron dies. I'll sacrifice everything to complete this endeavor. I don't know where Sauron is. And I hope he didn't take this outpost. Not dead yet. There must be another one. Good luck taking those down, boys. Yes, he's dead. Oh, and he was actually marching towards my base. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. oh that felt good. That's the first time I've had to kill an enemy just by focusing down their buildings and leaving their army alone. That is the first time I've done that. Well, maybe not the first time, but it's the first time where it felt impactful because that was Sauron I was going up against. And nope, I didn't want to do that. And now Gondor is next. On the chopping block. Well, it's all that's left on the chopping block. Oh, that felt, that felt good. That felt good. Oh, not only did Mordor get the ring. Not only did Mordor kill the Isengard. But it was up to me to clean up the mess. They, mu they must have had taken that outpost and Gondor must have destroyed it. I can't think of what else they would have had. So I'm getting castle on castle map. Only on castle maps do uh, settlements that can recruit actually matter. Most camp maps, for some reason, don't have that uh, little thing to them. And if you destroy all their outposts, uh, their camps and castles, or camps and outposts, then they will cease to be. And that feels like exactly what happened. 
Pippin just got destroyed. And since we've got the capacity for another outpost, let's get another Tower of Sorcery for faster uh, powers. Since I was told, oh, my, the Tower of Sorcery is actually really good. And it has its moments. This is probably one of the best that we'll get. Yeah, let's just sit back and heal for a bit. Famous last words, I know, but I'm doing it. Just sending this Thrall Master. Oh, they did have another Kirifungal Barracks. Okay. Yeah, they, they, that Kirifungal Barracks is what kept them alive until I destroyed it. Until Gondor destroyed it, even. I mean, I did, I did all the heavy lifting. I destroyed both their outposts and their camp. And my army is still standing strong. And that is why you invest in Men of Khandun. And here we go again. It's been a while, Gondor base. How have you been? You ever recover after that last brawl we had? Oh, those are fun times. Oh, Pippin's back already. Come on, I summon Conan. That's what that uh, thing was. That portrait. I'm fairly certain it's Conan. I mean, big, muscular guy. Could be anyone, really, but... Oh, yeah, Edict of Karnum. I'm not had to make any men of Karnum in a while, but hey. Might as well make them cheaper. If I can't make them quicker, at least make them cheaper. I would be annoyed, but I'm fair I can still just win with this. Yeah, there goes their barracks. Good luck getting that back. I think they were actually targeting the plate bearers for a moment there. Let's turn them into Barrow Whites in the middle of their base. Let's also get out the avalanche. No more units for you. No more money for you. Good day, sirs and madams of the people. And as is proof, Avalanche does not affect us anymore. Good old base game would... Uh, an Avalanche would obliterate you. Oh, they can still use powers, though. Ugh, ugh. The lag was real. Our army got a little bit destroyed. Let's stop recovering a little bit, get the Shadow Guard. Freeze them in the back. And we're destroying this base. It's unfrozen, but that doesn't matter when it's about to get destroyed. And here's a nice combination. Freeze the enemy and throw a plague on them. Everyone get over there. And victory is ours. Oh, that was a... This was a tense game. Very enjoyable, though. Very, very enjoyable. Caught the enemy by surprise. I got to steal all the loot money from the layers in the middle, which was definitely helping me progress early on. And victory indeed. Or it would be if they didn't have this outpost. Which they don't. Why are they still alive? Oh, where else did they build a signal fire? Was it in my base? No. I've got all... Uh, I just clicked on it. There we go. That building there. Get rid of it. Destroy it. Burn it. Who needs the Witch King when you've got his most loyal servants? To do the work for him. Yeah, our army got a little bit knocked up there at the end. As you can expect from attacking the Gondor base. There we go. Do we get a good little bit of blood splatter? Is that before blew up with ice? Oh, and they just threw stones on me, even though they shouldn't be able to because they have no. Citadel to make powers from. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Victory for the Iron Crown. And poor Isengard never even stood a chance. Ne I never saw a single one of their units. Poor, poor, sweet Isengard. 
Our resources never actually hit over 4,000. That's funny. Mordor's peaked at 7,000. See, that, that's a reasonable good. That, that's a reasonable number for resources. And then it all just went away because we had to fight them. 38 minute game. Nice and good. Orokai Hunters. Oh, that's a shame. Orc Warriors, of course. That would be mine as well. And Anorian Soldiers, yeah. I didn't have a favourite unit. <laughs> I would have sworn that would be Thrall Masters, but no, I didn't, I didn't make a lot of Men of Khan Doom at the end. But yeah, that just goes to show I have no favourites. I value everyone equally, <laughs> and the value I give them is zero. <laughs> I hope you've all enjoyed. Next time we're on Pineth Gallon, which is another camp map. That, that should be fun. Until then, see ya.